welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a Bichon Frise on the Rainbow Loom. I absolutely love this dog. I really think she came out perfect. And I put two little bows in her hair, and I also made one with one bow in the middle. So this is Rainbow Loom Regular Pink, and this is a pearl pink I found in Michael's. And I really love how she came out. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this one, but if you want to just put one bow in the middle, you can do that too. So, I really like her. I hope you do too. And it's a single loom, and you only need white for this tutorial, and around three ba uh, black bands for the eyes and nose. If you want to use e-beads or any kind of uh, small pony bead for the eyes, you can do that too. And we can get started. In this one, they have a bit of curly hair around the face, so I did wrapped bands around her head to resemble curls and cute little ears. And I'm going to show you how to do the wrapped bands right now. And it's a staggered position, arrow facing down. So you're going to need two bands, and then you place it on the hook and just wrap it around twice so it makes like a figure eight. Then you're going to need another two bands, do another figure eight, so you just wrap twice. So it's two, it's four bands total on the hook. And then you're going to take a double and bring these bands on that double. Just slide them right on. And then we're going to place it from this pin to this pin. So we're going to make a total of four of these wrapped bands. Okay, so that's one. And then we're going to take another double, make that little figure eight, just like that. We're going to take another double, another figure eight. And now we're going to take another double and place those four bands on that double. Okay, and then we're going to place it on these two pins. Okay, so that's my first set. Then I'm going to take, make another set, so two bands, make a figure eight, another two, figure eight, then another two, and place them on that one. And we're going to place it from this pin to this pin. Okay, make sure they're nice and bit even. Now we're going to do another one from this pin to this pin. So another double, figure eight, double, figure eight, so two times, just like before, another double, and you place them on that double. Okay, and we're placing it right here. Okay, so that's all the wrapped little bands that we need. And now we're going to work in the middle of the head. And it's going to be all doubles right now. So from this pin to this pin. Then the next one. And then one more. Okay, and then another double. I'm going to do a big stretch. This is the lower jaw. Another double. Big stretch. Okay, and that is her head. Now we're going to work on the neck. It's going to be a triple. So three.
the length of her body is going to be four stitches long and now we're going to double again so that's a triple and now we're, the rest of the body is double so it's four stitches so here's one two three and number four Okay, now we're going to work on the side of the body, and these are double again. Here's that triple, and now we're going to start right here. Okay, so right here to right here. And now we're going to work our way down, and just, they're all doubles going down. Okay, so and we're going to end it right here, connecting these two pins. Okay, I'm going to repeat on the other side. And then connecting this pin to this pin. Okay, so this is basically the basic layout. Now we're going to work on the tail. And I really like how the length of the tail is. So it's basically three stitches long with a double band on the top to make it a little wider. So it's going to be two bands and just put on the hook one, two. So like a, basically another figure eight. So wrap it around two times. Then you're going to take another double and place that on the double. Then take another double so this is number two for the stitches, and then another one for number three. So it's going to be the um, figure eight at the end, so it's a little fluffy, and then three stitches, and we're going to place it right here. Okay, so now we're going to work on the front legs, and I made the bottom paws a little flared and I really like how that looks so we're going to um, continue with that that's going to be a double again wrapped one two times around so another little figure eight then you're going to take a triple because we want her fur to be a little thicker so you're going to take a triple and place that in the middle the paw and then back on the hook then we're going to take another triple for the middle part of the leg and place that on the triple and then you're going to take a double so two for the shoulders I tried um, three and it didn't really look right on the dog and he couldn't stand properly so I think with the flare and everything of this leg a double looks really good here. So it's going to be a double wrap twice on the over here, triple, triple, double. And we're going to place it right here. So that's the front leg. And we're going to repeat it on this one. So take another double. One, two. Then take a triple. and place that on the triple, place it back on the hook, then take another triple, if you're hearing noises in the background that's lovely the lovebird playing, so I'm sorry about that, <laughs> so that's another triple, and then there's another double right here, that's the shoulder. So once again, double here and wrap twice. Then it's a triple, 
triple, double. And then we're going to place it right here. Okay. Now the hind legs are a little bit different, but they start out the same. So another double, wrap twice around, figure eight. Then you're going to do another triple. And then place that on the triple. Back on the hook. Then another triple. Place that like that. Then another triple. So instead of a double, like the front legs, we're doing a triple here. Okay, so that's the double flare at the bottom, then triple, 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 and then we're placing that on this pin and this pin. That's going to be the thigh area. Just like that. So then we're going to do the repeat over here. So double, place it on the hook two times, figure eight, then a triple. So it's three. Place it on the hook. Then another triple. And then another triple. Okay. Then we're going to place it on the loom one, two, right there. Place it on the outside. Now we can put some structural bands here. And it's going to be a single. And you just make a little triangle. Another single. Triangle. And another single triangle. Okay. Now we're going to work on the face. And this dog is a little bit different. This is not going to be the face pointing to us. We're actually, this is the back of the head. So when we do the snout, we have to put the snout in this section. So I'll show you really um, how to do that. It's pretty easy. Now this is my nose. I'm going to put it on the hook four times. So one, two, three, four. You can use a bead for this too. I'm going to take two white rubber bands, place it on the hook, bring that snout over, put it in the middle, bring it back on the hook, make sure this is in the middle, just like that. Then you're going to take another white rubber band, place that on just like this, and we're going to place these two end right here and right here. So I'm going to place it right here, then the other one here. Now I'm going to bring this down below this pin. My other dogs, I always have the snout like this because we're working with the um, front of the head this way. This one, we're working on the back of the head. And you'll see why, because the curls are actually going to be on this side rather than this side. So we're just going to place this little snout right through this hole down. Okay, so place that down there so you don't lose it. And that's it. Very simple. So you put your snout here and then put it through this little hole. Now we're going to work on the eyes. And you can use beads for this too, but I'm going to use the um, bands. Place it on the hook, wrap four times around. One, two, three, and four. Or you can do the little figure eight again. And then take that and place it on the hook like that. Same thing, still wrapped four times around. Okay, then you take a white rubber band, 
place it on the hook, place the eyes on the white, and you can use beads for this too, anything you want, they, they all look beautiful. And then we're going to place it on these pins right here. And then we're going to separate these eyes and bring this up here to rest. Okay, so we just placed the ends right here and then we brought it over so it rests up here. And then the snout's inside. And now we're going to work on the ears. Take a single white rubber band, place it on the hook, wrap three times. So one, two, and three. Then take a triple band, place it on the hook, place this right in the middle, then place it back on the hook, and make sure this goes in the middle. Then we're going to take a single, twist it upon itself, then place it back on the hook, and slide it on that single twist, put it back on this hook, and we're going to place it right here. Okay, bring that ear up, and we're going to do the same thing for this ear. So, single, one, two, three, then a triple, and then slide that in the middle, bring it back on the hook, just like that. Then take a single, twist it upon itself, put it on the hook, slide it on that single twist, that back on the hook, and place it here. Okay, so this is your layout. Make sure your dog looks like this, and now we can start looming. Okay, so you need to pull back the tail. This is your little capping band. And our first band we're going to loom is this one on the left. It's the topmost. I'm just going to grab that, bring it to this pin right here. Then our next one is right here. And then we're going to loom the middle. Now you're going to loom the middle all the way up to the neck. Okay, we're going to stop right there. Now we'll work on the right side. And we are only grabbing this bottom row. We're not grabbing these legs at all, just this bottom band. We're just looming forward. Okay, now we're going to grabbing this one. And I want to just make sure this band is straight, no tangles. And then we're going to do the same thing right here, just grabbing all that bottom. Grab that. Okay, so that's your body. Now we're grabbing the triple neck. So that is all the way at the bottom. Okay, now we're grabbing this side of the head. It's the uppermost bands big stretch. Now we're grabbing this side, big stretch. Now we're grabbing the middle. And remember the snout is inside this hole. It's 
through um, there. We just have to loom forward. Now we're going to go under and grab this one. Okay, we're going to stop right there and now we're going to grab, do this side of the head and we're going all the way under and we're just grabbing this band right here on the bottom. And bringing it to this pin. Same over here, just the bottom. We just want to loosen that up with tension. And we're going to do the same over here. And then right here too, just the bottom, that band. Okay, and then we stopped right here. And now we're going to grab this one and loom forward. Okay, so this is actually the back of the body. Make sure your dog looks like this. And I am, I usually use two bands for a slip knot, but I'm actually incorporating the little slip knot inside the dog. So I'm gonna use four to make it more fuller on top of the head. So it's a little bit different technique with this dog. So I want to take four. You can use three too if you want it a little thinner, thinner on the top of the head. I think four looks nice. I want to dangle it so that they're all the same shape. Like they're all um, oblong, so it's just the same shape. I want to place my hook right through. Put them on the hook. Bring it through. I want it in the middle of the head. And then I'm going to grab, put it on like that, make my little slip knot. Pull. And that's what it looks like. So now we can take it off the loom slowly, start at the bottom. When he comes off the loom, he's going to look, um, the head's going to look a little weird because of the um, wrapped bands, but I'm going to show you how to maneuver the bands to make them more curly. Okay, here's the snout. I'm just going to lightly tug on that. side and he looks like this and we're going to make him look like this so it's a big difference so it's all about maneuvering the bands so I'm going to fix the nose I want to actually put one band on top so it's a little thinner use your fingers push him push him the head back a little bit, stretch out that body, stretch the legs. I'm going to first work on making him into a dog shape and then we're going to work with the head at the last um, step. So I'm going to bend his neck and there's that triple band right here. Place your hook right through the triple band, tug on it slightly, and it's going to bring the neck up, just like that. So it's not flat anymore. And now we're going to sew the body shut. I'm going to stretch it out a little bit. I need a single band and a scissor at the end. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to place my hook. If you've done my, if you've made my other dogs, you know the steps with this already. These are the shoulder bands. I'm going to place my hook right through these shoulder bands. 
Then I'm going to take my single band, place it on the hook, bring it right through, make a slip knot to put it back on the hook, bring it through, and I made a knot, pull it down a little bit. Then I'm going to go to the next row, right here. Then I'm going to bring, put that little thread, as I call it, through again, pull taut. Then I'm going to the next row, just like that one. Pull it through. And then I'm going to go one more. You can stop there, you can go one more. It doesn't really matter. Through. Then I'm going to take my scissor and snip the end, hold on to it. Watch, um, don't cut yourself or anything. Then I'm going to hold one end and I need to anchor the other band within the um, body. So I'm just going to grab any band, put that loose band underneath it, then I'm going to pull, so now it's anchored, and I'm going to make a double knot, or you can do a triple knot. I like to do triple just to make sure it stays. So here's one, two, and three. Okay, so now I'm going to just trim off the excess band. Make sure don't trim off any of the dog. I'm going to stretch him out, pull the legs down. Okay, now we're going to work on the tail. And his tail is really straight right now, and I want it a little bit more up. So I'm going to take my hook. Just go underneath the last band and pull slightly and move that tail forward. And now the tail's up and nice. And what I like about this too, we had that double band on the bottom. So I want to separate the double band and actually make it wider at the bottom. So it looks like this, so it flares a little bit, because on the dog it flares a little, the haircut. So I'm going to take this out, make sure it's wide. Then you can see this band right here, and I'm just going to separate it a little bit. So it's more loose and flares a little bit. I like to put some detail into these dogs, as you can see. I think it works out in the end, and they and they look like re the dogs. They resemble them. So I'm going to flare this one out too. And then this last one in the back. I just flare it. Okay, so that's him. Now, I think this snout is a little bit too long. So... What I did with this dog, you can see the difference. This one's a little shorter. I'm going to place my hook right behind into this stitch right here, and that's where the nose is. So I'm going to put my hook right through that band behind the nose. And I'm just going to tug on it so it hides the white a little bit more. So I'm just tugging it so it hides it within the head. So you can make it as long as you want or short. But I just tugged it a little bit and you can see it already came in a little bit. And it's more petite. Okay, so now let's fix this, these curls. And what I'm going to do is place my hook right through the first set of curls. So it's right here. I'm just going to tug on it. Make sure they're a little straight. You can maneuver them around and make sure they're straight. Okay, 
It's like a little a grooming session. So I made that one more straight. Then I'm going to go to the next. The next set. Make sure they're straight. Then I'm going to go on this side now. Go through that set. Tug on it. Move them around. Okay, just these little things really make a difference. And then we're going to have one more little set over here. And I just want the band straight, all in a row. And just maneuver them. See that? Okay, so now they're more straight. And we're going to do something with the ears now. I like to put the ears a little bit more forward. And we're going to turn this into this. So, you're going to pull, separate these bands to the curls that we just did, and you're going to see that single twist right here, and then there's another band right here, this double band. We're going to take this double band right here, I'm going to show you with the hook, and we're just going to bring the ear through it. This is going to bring the ear a little bit more forward. Okay, I'll do the same thing on this side. You can see the single twist right here. And we're going to find this little band. And we're going to bring the ear through it. It's going to bring it more forward. So now you can see a big difference. Now they're coming forward. Now I want my ears to come more forward. So we're going to bring this in the middle of this triple. We have a triple right here. Then you have that single wrapped three times around. Make sure it's in the middle. Then I'm going to hold on to that single twist that we had. And there's that triple. I'm going to hold the back of it and just tug it slightly so that the end is coming toward you. And that's going to bring the ear more toward you. Instead of flat going that way, the ear is coming forward now. So we're going to go back over here. There's that single twist. Pull that, just tug it slightly. And I'll bring that ear forward. Okay, just like that. Now, let's hide this bunch of bands in the middle of the head. And you're going to separate it. I'm going to place my hook right through, like underneath the knot area. just like right here. You can see where the hook is. Then I'm going to take that, the four bands, make sure they're a little straight and not like knotted up because we want to resemble curls with this one too. And I'm just placing them on the hook. Then I'm going to pull it through I'm going to try to do this as slow as I can so you guys can get it. So I'm just going to pull it through. And you can see now there's curls in the middle of the head. And if you want to secure this, you can, um, with this dog, I just left it be. And it, it's holding its own. But you could put, um, if you want to keep it there and let the, um, just secure it a little bit more. You can get another band, place it on the hook, and just make a, and pull it through. 
and then make a slip knot. And then hide the excess or you can cut this little excess off. So that knotted in the back so it's more secure on the top. Or you can just leave it there too because this one I didn't end stain so I didn't make a um, little knot at the end. But if you want to, you can, and it'll secure it a little bit better. And now you can either keep him like this, or you can put the um, bows in it. And I'm going to show you really na right now how to make the bows. And I really think it's a great feature for this dog. Okay, so you can use your loom, or you can use your fingers for this. I'll show you first on the loom. I'm going to take what I'm going to use a, a pearl pink that I got. I really love this color. And I'm going to use three of them, so a triple. And I'm just going to place it right here on the loom, any pins you want. Just place it right there. Then you're going to take a, another of the same color, place it underneath. I'm going to use my hook too to grab it. And then bring it up like that. And then just grab the other end and make a slip knot right in the middle. And that is one bow. Very simple. So, and that's a bow. Really cute. You can also uh, make it with your fingers. So I'm going to do a grab a triple. And you can use whatever colors you'd like. And if you want to just put one bow in the middle, like this dog, you can just put one bow. So I'm going to grab a triple, place on two fingers, place my band, I'm going to use my hook, right through, just like that. I wrapped it around, bring it through, make a slip knot right in the middle, and here's another bow. So they came out really cute. And it's a simple little accessory for your dog. So I have two bows right there. And I'm going to place it on my dog right now. And what I do, it's very simple. That single twist for the ear. Place your hook right through this single twist. Just right through that band. Because there is a little gap there too. Grab the end of the bow which we knotted, and pull it through. Pull it through, and you got a cute little bow for your dog. You can make it like that, and I'm going to do the same on this side. I'm going to find that single twist right here. Put my hook right through it. Bring my bow right through. Okay, it looks so cute. And you can maneuver the ears. If you want the bow a little bit closer to the head, you can take it out and move, you know, just find any kind of band inside here and just pull it through. But you can do it on the single twist so that it looks like that. Or I'll show you really quickly a little bit closer to the head. Anywhere you want. And you can do the same thing for the top of the head. See, it looks so cute. So, and then you can just make them tie a little knot at the end, you know, to secure it back here. You can hide them within the head. Or you can get a C-clip and hide the excess of the bow. And that's your little Maltese. And you can maneuver the ears again, however you want. If you have more tangles in the um, fur, you can place your hook right through and make it straight. If you want your nose more in, just maneuver it around. And he does stand on himself by himself. And she, she or he is super cute. 
I really hope you like this tutorial. Please subscribe to Lovely Lovebird Designs. Bye! And we're going to place it from this pin to this pin. Okay, make sure they're nice and a bit even. Now we're going to do another one from this pin to this pin. So another double. Figure eight. Double. Figure eight. So two times, just like before. Another double. And you place them on that double. Okay, and we're placing it right here. Okay, so that's all the wrapped little bands that we need. And now we're going to work in the middle of the head. And it's going to be all doubles right now. So from this pin to this pin. Then the next one. And then one more. Okay, and then another double. I'm going to do a big stretch. This is the lower jaw. Another double. Big stretch. Okay, and that is her head. Now we're going to work on the neck. It's going to be a triple. So three. The length of her body is going to be four stitches long, and now we're going to double again. So that's a triple, and now we're, the rest of the body is double. So it's four stitches, so here's one, two, three, and number four. Okay, now we're going to work on the side of the body. And these are double again. Here's that triple. And now we're going to start right here. Okay, so right here to right here. And now we're going to work our way down. And just, they're all doubles going down. Okay, so and we're going to end it right here, connecting these two pins. Okay, I'm going to repeat on the other side. So I'll show you really um, how to do that. It's pretty easy. Now this is my nose. I'm going to put it on the hook four times. So one, two, three, four. You can use a bead for this too. I'm going to take two white rubber bands, place it on the hook, bring that snout over, put it in the middle, bring it back on the hook, make sure this is in the middle, just like that. Then you're going to take another white rubber band, Place that on just like this, and we're going to place these two end right here and right here. So I'm going to place it right here, then the other one here. Now I'm going to bring this down below this pin. My other dogs, I always have the snout like this because we're working with the um, front of the head this way. This one, we're working on the back of the head. And you'll see why, because the curls are actually going to be on this side rather than this side. So we're just going to place this little snout right through this hole down. Okay, so place that down there so you don't lose it. And that's it. Very simple. So you put your snout here and then put it through this little hole. 
Now we're going to work on the eyes. And you can use beads for this too, but I'm going to use the um, bands. Place it on the hook, wrap four times around. One, two, three, and four. Or you can do the little figure eight again. And then take that and place it on the hook like that. Same thing, still wrapped four times around. Okay, then you take a white rubber band, place it on the hook, place the eyes on the white, and you can use beads for this too, anything you want, they, they all look beautiful. And then we're going to place it on these pins right here. And then we're going to separate these eyes and bring this up here to rest. Okay, so we just placed the ends right here and then we brought it over so it rests up here. And then the snout's inside. And now we're going to work on the ears. Take a single white rubber band, place it on the hook, wrap three times. So one, two and three. Then take a triple band, place it on the hook. Hello, welcome to Lovely Lovebird Designs. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a Bichon Frise on the Rainbow Loom. I absolutely love this dog. I really think she came out perfect. And I put two little bows in her hair and I also made one with one bow in the middle. So this is Rainbow Loom Regular Pink, and this is a pearl pink I found in Michael's. And I really love how she came out. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make this one. But if you want to just put one bow in the middle, you can do that too. So I really like her. I hope you do too. And it's a single loom. And you only need white for this tutorial. And around three ba uh, black bands for the eyes and nose. If you want to use e-beads or any kind of uh, small pony bead for the eyes, you can do that too. And we can get started. In this one, they have a bit of curly hair around the face, so I did wrapped bands around her head to resemble curls and cute little ears. And I'm going to show you how to do the wrapped bands right now. And it's a staggered position, arrow facing down. So you're going to need two bands, and then you place it on the hook, and just wrap it around twice, so it makes like a figure eight. Then you're going to need another two bands, do another figure eight, so you just wrap twice. So it's, two, it's four bands total on the hook, and then you're going to take a double and bring these bands on that double. Just slide them right on. And then we're going to place it from this pin to this pin. So we're going to make a total of four of these wrapped bands. Okay, so that's one. And then we're going to take another double, make that little figure eight, just like that. We're going to take another double, another figure eight, and now we're going to take another double and place those four bands on that double. Okay, and then we're going to place it on these two pins. Okay, so that's my first set. Then I'm going to take, make another set, so two bands, make a figure eight, another two, figure eight, then another two, and place them on that one. Okay, and then connecting this pin to this pin. Okay, so this is basically the basic layout. 
Now we're going to work on the tail and I really like how the length of the tail is so it's basically three stitches long with a double band on the top to make it a little wider. So it's going to be two bands and just put on the hook one, two. So like a, basically another figure eight. So wrap it around two times. Then you're going to take another double and place that on the double. Then take another double. So this is number two for the stitches. And then another one for number three. So it's going to be the um, figure eight at the end, so it's a little fluffy, and then three stitches, and we're going to place it right here. Okay, so now we're going to work on the front legs, and I made the bottom paws a little flared, and I really like how that looks, so we're going to um, continue with that. That's going to be a double again, wrapped one two times around, so another little figure eight. Then you're going to take a triple because we want her fur to be a little thicker. So you're going to take a triple and place that in the middle, the paw, and then back on the hook. Then we're going to take another triple for the middle part of the leg and place that on the triple and then you're going to take a double, so two for the shoulders. I tried um, three and it didn't really look right on the dog and he couldn't stand properly. So I think with the flare and everything of this leg, a double looks really good here. So it's going to be a double wrapped twice on the, over here, triple, triple, double. And we're going to place it right here. So that's the front leg and we're going to repeat it on this one. So take another double, one, two, then take a triple and place that on the triple, place it back on the hook, then take another triple If you're hearing noises in the background, that's lovely, the lovebird playing. So I'm sorry about that. <laughs> so that's another triple. And then there's another double right here. That's the shoulder. So once again, double here and wrap twice. Then it's a triple, triple, double. And then we're going to place it right here. Now the hind legs are a little bit different, but they start out the same. So another double, wrap twice around, figure eight. Then you're going to do another triple, and then place that on the triple, back on the hook, then another triple, place that like that. Then another triple. So instead of a double, like the front legs, we're doing a triple here. Okay, so that's the double flare at the bottom, then triple, 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 and then we're placing that on this pin and this pin. That's going to be the thigh area. Just like that. So then we're going to do the repeat over here. So double, place it on the hook two times, figure eight, then a triple, so it's three, place it on the hook, then another triple.
and then another triple. Okay, then we're going to place it on the loom one, two, right there. Place it on the outside. Now we can put some structural bands here and it's going to be a single and you just make a little triangle. Another single triangle and another single triangle. Okay, now we're going to work on the face and this dog is a little bit different. This is not going to be the face pointing to us. We're actually, this is the back of the head. So when we do the snout, we have to put the snout in this section. 